Make sure you watch this entire video. Absolutely free breakdown. Last day of June, June 30th. We're two and one on the week. The uh, the Blue Jays had the lead yesterday and they they gave it up. Then they came back and and then of course extra innings happened and the Red Sox went off in the top of the tenth. So we dropped one. Let's get back to it. I have a first five innings matchup for you guys between the Dodgers and the Padres. Before we get into that, LG. I want to say welcome to the page, LG. I don't know if I've ever seen you before unless you changed your letters because we did have the LGJ1ST, if that's the same guy. What's up? Christopher Police, Mar uh, Marino A13, KJ Philly 5 Teamer, Vance Sosa, John Anderson, Kevin Arsenal, Jay Dillon, The Real Jin, and Jimmy Serena. All right, guys. Thank you for the love. Let's keep the comments coming, subscriptions, all of that stuff, and let's dig right in. To this game the Dodgers and the Padres I'm excited I want to get a 6-1 week we're 2-1 we need to go 4-0 um, it's not it's not impossible the Dodgers and the Padres begin a four game series tonight these two teams are number one and number two in the crowded a NL West Dodgers are in first place 46 and 28 Padres are in second place 46 31 so they're close right now First pitch is going to be at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern time. Dodgers are sitting at a slight favorite, minus 130, with a total of 7.5. And, and the Dodgers are coming off of a tough series against Colorado. Um, they lost two out of three in the Rocky Mountains against the last place Rockies. Um, not a good sign coming into this series. They don't have the momentum. They don't have the heat. Yeah, they did lose Mookie Betts to the injured list last week, but something is not quite right with this Dodgers team right now. They're in a little slump. They're averaging four runs per game over the past two series. This team normally averages five a game, so they're three off from their average. They need that spark to come back. This Padres pitching staff is nasty. If they have a bad weekend against the Padres, they might not be on top of the NL West by the end of the weekend, and that's something – that they're definitely going to be worried about, and they're definitely going to be looking at. This Padre pitching staff ranks fourth in runs allowed, fourth in hits allowed. They have eight. They have a team ERA of 3.58, fifth in the league, and they have an ace on the mound tonight. Joe Musgrove, 8-1, 2.1 ERA, 0.95 whip. Now, we didn't expect him to do like, to do this type of performance. Nobody predicted it, but he's doing it. 85 innings, 82 strikeouts, 18 walks. This is his first time facing the Dodgers this year. This is going to be his 14th start of the season. The Padres are 9-2-2 two two in the first five innings when Musgrove starts the game, and that is on the money line. That is an insane stat. They're going to be locked in. They know they can overtake the Dodgers in the standings. The Dodgers, guys, the Padres are healthier. They know it. They're going to come into this game fired up. Their bats are going to be hot and heated, knowing that they got their ace on the mound and give him some run support. Guys, the Padres just had a two-game series against the D-backs, and they won both first five innings. Give me the Padres, first five innings, plus a half a run, minus 140, lock it and clock it. This is a good one, guys. This is a private play. I normally do not give private plays on this page those are reserved for paying clients, but I wanted to spice things up a little a little bit. I know my paying clients won't mind, but I wanted to do something extra for you guys. Lock it and clock it. Padres first five plus a half a run. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more MLB breakdowns. Keep all the love coming, subscriptions, all of it. We'll be back.